Welcome to today's Gibbs Cam Tech Tip. In this video, I will be covering how to download and install not only the NLO server, but also the client PC, and then showing how to gain access to Gibbs Cam on the client side. This is an NLO server setup guide. If you are a USB key user, then this video does not pertain to you, and you should search for the USB setup guide. The first section of this video will be covering downloading, installing, and registering your NLO server. The first step would be to download the latest NLO install package. So open up a web page and go to online.gibscam.com. And you see here we can download the reprise NLO server install file. Clicking this link will begin the download. And while you're here, you could also go up to the Gibbscam software link. And clicking this will take you to a page where you could also download the latest version of Gibbs. Clicking the download now button here, We'll begin the download process. But that's where I am at currently. I have downloaded the NLO install package, and I've also downloaded the latest version of Gibbscam, but I have not yet ran them. Now for this to work, administrative privileges are required, so please keep that in mind. And with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and install the NLO server by right-clicking the icon and choosing Run as Administrator. I need to select yes when prompted to allow the app the ability to make changes to my device. And once I do that, the install wizard will load where I can choose my preferred language and click next. Once the welcome message appears, we can then go ahead and click next. Accept the terms and click next once again. And then here we need to determine a location to save our install files to. Now this is the default location. It will generate these two folders within program files on your C drive, but of course you can click the change button if you prefer and choose a different location. Just make sure that it's easy to access because we will need to get into that folder uh, for the next step. So once you've determined that, go ahead and click next and finally install. And once the wizard is complete, we can hit the finish button. And just like that, we have installed the server. The next step would be to register the server. So in order to do that, we need to navigate to that location that we determined to save our install files. And I chose default, which again was our C drive, program files, Gibbscam, Gibbscam NLO server 2024, and registration tool.exe. This is the file we are looking for. And when you've located it, we also need to run it as an administrator. So right click, run as administrator, choose yes to allow it to make changes. And after you've done that, the licensing utility will appear. Here we can choose our registration type and you see my options are grayed out, but if you're able to bounce around between these, just make sure that you have network license server selected to register your server. Now, in order to do this, we have a couple of options. With an internet connection on our server PC, we can run the registration tool, enter our 20 digit product code, along with valid contact information and generate a license file that way. Or if you don't have an internet connection on your server PC, then you need to reach out to your reseller where they would be able to provide you with a license file in which you can manually drag and drop onto this dialog or browse for it on your computer with this link here. But for this, I'm going to run the registration tool. And when I click on that link, a window appears where I can enter my 20 digit product code. Now, please ensure that your code is correct just to avoid any slowdowns or hiccups during the process. But once you're certain that it is in fact correct, you can click the next button where you will need to then enter valid contact information, you opt in or opt out of these options below, and then click next again and finally finish. Now waiting a few seconds and we are met with a license successfully deployed window and this is perfect this is exactly what you want to see so i'm going to click ok and then i'm going to be met with this message asking if i want to restart the rlm window service in which i do so i will click yes and now we can see inside of this folder that we have we have a few more files down here the license file .lic being one of them but once I've registered my server, I always like to 
go to services on my PC and just ensure that the server is in fact running. So I will search out services. And once that window loads, I'll scroll down to the G's and look for Gibbs RLM service or server. And it is in fact running. So that's good. If it isn't running for whatever reason, then you need to uninstall the server software and then maybe disable any security measures or firewalls you may have, or at least try to add Gibbscam and reprise to permission lists and then repeat the process of installing the server. But here it is running, so I'm going to close this. And now the next probably single most important step of this entire process is to log into the hosted server and change the default password. If we do not change the default password within the first 10 minutes of registering our license, then the service will shut down. So please do not forget. Now, in order to access the hosted server, we need to know the device name or the computer name that we are on, the server PC. And if you're not familiar with that, you can always go to your search bar and type in device name. This will open up a settings window where it'll tell you the device name, in which I like to copy it just so I don't have to worry about typing it all out. So I'll just highlight it and hit copy. And once I've got my device name, I'm going to open up a web page. And inside of the URL bar, I'm going to type out HTTP colon forward slash. And then I'm going to hit control V as in Victor to paste my device name. And then after that, I'm going to put colon 5054. So again, that's HTTP colon forward slash your device's name colon 5054. And once you have that entered, go ahead and navigate to that and you will be met with the Reprise License Server Administration page. And here you can see over on the left, I'm prompted to log in. Now, by default, username and password are both admin, all lowercase letters. So I'm assuming you could see why it would be important to need to change that default password. But once you log in, you can see we have more options here on the left and near the bottom, we can change password. So I'm gonna click that and I'm going to update my password. Once you've done that, click change password and you're all set. No more worries about service shutting down because you forgot to change it. Now, while we're here, we could also go to the status button if you prefer and just double check that we are in fact running. But after you've done that, verified everything's good to go and you're able to log on to the server and change the password, the next step would be to download, install, and register the client PC. And that will be covered in the next portions of this video. Once we have successfully installed and registered our server, the next step would be to move over to the client side of things and download, install, and register the Gibbscam software on our client PC. Now, of course, in order to do this, we would need to open up a web page and go to online.gibbscam.com, where we could then click the Gibbscam software link which will take us to a page where we can download the latest version. At the time of this video, the latest version is 24.0.6 and clicking the download now button will begin that download process. Now I've already downloaded this file. I've got 24.0.6, the install package downloaded, but I also have .59 and I'm gonna use this one to cover a fresh install of Gibbscam, uh, basically installing the software on a computer that doesn't have any other versions currently installed. And then once we get that set up, I will go over later on in the video how to update to the latest version. So of course, in order for this to work, again, administrative privileges are required. And when you're ready and that file has finished downloading, you can double click to run the install wizard, in which case you'll be asked to allow the application to make changes to your device, where you need to click yes. And when you do, the install wizard will load. And at the welcome page, we can click next, accept the terms, click next again. And here you can see we have the option for third party add-ins. So if you use something such as Inventor or perhaps SolidWorks, then you could choose to have certain features integrated into your Gibbscam software. Just check the box associated with the one you use and click next. Or if you don't use any of these, just leave them all blank like I have and click the next button and finally, the install button to begin the installation.
And there we go, the installation is complete. Now, when the installation does finish, it may or may not require you to perform a restart on your computer. You can see here, it doesn't require me to, um, but it has in the past. So if for whatever reason yours is requiring a restart, then you should have two check boxes here saying, you know, yes, I will restart now, or no, I would like to restart later. Now, the option is up to you, but I would highly suggest choosing no and restart later, just because I would give you the opportunity to save any work you may have open on your computer and close any programs or software that you may have open. And then once you do that and click the finish button, the migration tool may just open on its own for you. Um, here I have the option to launch the migration tool. And now it's not going to do us any good here, so I could uncheck it if I wanted, but I'm just going to leave it checked and hit finish. And again, like I said, it's not going to do us any good because we don't have any older versions of Gibbs installed to migrate from. So I'm just going to close this out and you can do the same. And there we have it. We have installed our version of Gibbs Cam. And now we're ready to run it and register it. So in order to do that, we need to double click the new Gibbs Cam application icon on our desktop. And once we try to open this for the first time, it's going to tell us that a license file is required to use this software. Now we have a couple of options here. Again, we can use the registration tool just like we did with registering our server. And when we run the registration tool, we would in fact use the same 20 digit product code that we used to register our server. But I'm, I'm going to hit cancel here and just give you an idea of other ways to do it. You could download Gibbs on every client PC and go and run the registration tool on every single one of them. And as long as they have an internet connection, then they will of course uh, generate a license file if everything is correct. But I'm gonna go into that default location we chose during the uh, server registration, which was the C drive, program files, Gibbs cam, and Gibbs Cam NLO Server 2024. This is where that registration tool was. But also when we registered, it's where it threw the .lic or the license file for our software. And just to give you an idea of possibilities, you could load this license file onto a USB and bounce it around between client PCs and just drag and drop the license file itself onto this dialog. And just like if we were to run the registration tool and enter the correct information, we have successfully deployed our license. We can click the OK button. And then next we are met with the license manager menu. This is where we have the option to check out every capability that our seat has, or we can pick and choose what we want to, to check out. Um, but typically you want to check the button, check all available so that everything is checked. And then the next step would be check out and you'll see it adds these check boxes here and then you would click OK. Now there is an always show option down here at the bottom and of course checking that is going to ensure that this license manager window opens up every single time you open Gibbs but if you leave that unchecked then it's just going to save these settings for this client PC. So if I were to go in here and you know uncheck go milling and five axis and uncheck always show and then hit okay, what's going to happen is this client PC will be locked out of go milling and five axis until I access the license manager again and turn these options back on for this client PC. So you have the option to pick and choose which clients have access to which features. And it can get confusing at times. And of course, multiple seats would avoid any crossover issues. You know, one programmer being locked out while the other makes changes or works. So always keep that in mind. But once you have everything selected that you want to use, you can go ahead and click OK. And Gibbs Cam should open up. Of course, I get this temporary license warning. But I click OK and Gibbs Cam will open up for us. And of course, when we're trying to open this up, the Pro Access License Manager appears. And this is more of third-party add-ins for just capabilities within the software. So if you're familiar with this, then go ahead and select the options that you need. But if you're not, I would suggest unchecking show at startup and then hitting OK. And that shouldn't appear for us any longer. And there we go. Successfully 
downloaded, installed, and registered our client PC to access Gibbscam with our NLO server license. Now, when we did open Gibbs, we were met with the license manager, but notice I unchecked always show, so every time I open up Gibbscam, I'm not gonna have options to pick and choose seat features in the license manager, but you can access that manager from any Gibbscam application, whether it be a blank one like I have here, or maybe something with a work area and a solid model in there that you've been working on. It doesn't matter. Either way, we need to go to File, Preferences. Click on the Interface option in the men on the menu in the left. And then from there, we need to go to the right and look for License Options. Clicking that button will then make the License Manager menu appear, where you can, of course, do all those things that we just discussed. Click OK when you're finished. And then close your Preferences. Now let's say that you have been using Gibbs for some time and reached out to have your seat upgraded to provide more features or more capability. Now once that request has been completed, we need to update our license on the server PC to apply the upgraded seat. So I will go to my server PC and navigate to the location that we decided to have our server files saved to. Now I chose the default location, so I need to go to my C drive and navigate to Program Files, Gibbs Cam, Gibbscam NLO Server 2024, and once in here, we are looking for registrationtool.exe. This is the same tool that we used to initially register our server PC, and it's the tool that we're going to use to update the server license file as well. So once you've found this executable, go ahead and right-click it and choose Run as Administrator, and after selecting Yes when prompted to allow changes to the device, we are met with the licensing utility. Now my options up here are grayed out, but if for any reason you have the ability to choose between these, please ensure you are on Network License Server for this to work properly as we are updating the server license file. And of course, with an internet connection, we can run the registration tool to enter our 20-digit product code and update the license file that way. Or if the server PC does not have an internet connection, we can obtain our license file from our local reseller, in which it can then be dropped directly onto this dialog to update the license file that way. But I do have an internet connection, so I'm going to click Run Registration Tool. And when the window appears, I will enter my 20-digit product code, or if it already appears there, I will just ensure that it is in fact entered correctly. And once I've verified that, I can click Next. Here, I need to enter my contact information and click Next once again. And finally, the Finish button. Now, after a few seconds, we see the pop-up message telling us the license was successfully deployed, meaning our license is now updated to include the newly acquired upgrades. I click OK, and we are asked if we want to restart the RLM Windows service, which we do, just to turn it off and back on again to help that newly updated license take effect. So I will click Yes. And just like that, we have officially updated our server license file. Now, once this is done, all of the client PCs that are already pointing to the server are good to go. No license update is needed on the client side of things. The client license files function is primarily to just point to the server. And it uses whatever the server shows. Now, the ex exception, of course, would be when updating to a new major version, i.e., you know, v23 to v24. Uh, but that would, of course, force the client to run the registration tool on launch Anyways, just like you see here, where we would then continue with run registration tool, 20 digit product code and complete that process to then register our client if needed. In this next section of the video, I will go over how to update to the latest version of Gibbscam if one is available. Now I would suggest turning on automatically check for updates on startup. So that way, every time you open Gibbscam, it'll reach out and ensure that you are using the latest version. And if you're not, it'll give you a message telling you that an update is available. So in order to turn this on, we need to go up to File and look for Preferences. And then from there, go to the menu on the left and choose Interface. And then over on the right, there should be a checkbox that says Automatically Check for Updates on Startup. Checking that should get you 
a message anytime an update becomes available. But if you don't want to use that, you could also go to help and click the check for updates button that's available there. Now allowing this to work for a few seconds, and we should see a window appear telling us that an uh, update is in fact available. And there we go. A newer version is available. I will click yes, and it will take me to a web page where I can then download the software. And there we go, v24.0.6. And clicking the download button will start that process. I've already downloaded this file. So I'm going to ensure that I've got all of my Gibbscam applications closed because in order to update to the latest version, we can't have Gibbs running. But here you see I've got my version 24.0.6 install package and it is finished downloading. So in order to run this, of course, as always, we need administrative privileges. So once you've got those, go ahead and double click the icon. It's of course also going to ask you to allow the app to make changes where we need to click yes. And then once we do that, the install wizard will load. We're met with the welcome message and we can click next, accept the terms, click next, have any third-party add-ins that we may want to check to integrate features into Gibbs. If not, leave them all blank and click next. And then finally, the install button to install the latest version. Now, once the install is complete, we again have the option to launch the migration tool, but this time it will be a little more valuable as we are updating to a new version. So we obviously have an older version installed. So I'm gonna leave that checked and click finish and the migration tool will open. I'm gonna scan for versions and you see it will populate this list with all of the previous versions of Gibbscam I've been running. But I wanna check the latest one and pick check compatibility. And you'll see here, the migration tool is really used for moving over custom interfaces, specific user settings, MDDs, macros, plugins, just many, many things that this migrates over into the new version just to kind of save us the time and hassle of having to manually go in and do all of that ourselves. So I typically leave all of these checked and then click the do it button and the migration tool will work. And then we're met with one or more files were not migrated. This error message is typical, um, happens every time, so no worries, just click OK, and then close out the migration tool. And there you go. The newest version of Gibbscam is installed on your PC, your client PC. Now, because we already registered and have a license file from when we installed and registered version 24.0.59, all I need to do now is simply open 24.0.6. Again, I met with my Temp expiration, I click OK, and Gibbscam will open. And upon opening, I'm met with the Pro Access License Manager. If, if you're familiar with this plugin and need these options, then now is the time you would check them. But if you are unfamiliar with this and don't need any of these, I would suggest unchecking Show at Startup and then hitting the OK button to continue opening the software. And there we go. And that's it for today's Gibbscam tech tip. Everything I went over in this video pertained to an NLO server license type only. Now we covered the install and registration of your server, as well as a first time installation of Gibbscam on the client PC and how to register that to connect to your server to access Gibbs. We also covered updating after a license upgrade, uh, how to update to the newest version, and also how to use the migration tool. But of course, if you have any other questions, then please reach out to your local Gibbscam reseller.